Welcome to this video. This video explains how we can model complicated loads using the load in Abacus software. When a load is a complicated function of location and time, we can use the load subroutine to model the load. Imagine a beam that carries a roof crane. There is a distributed load on the beam which moves along the beam. As you can see in this picture, we simplify this problem as a rectangular beam with a moving distributed load on it. At first we create the beam in two-dimensional space. The beam is deformable and in two-dimensional space we create a rectangle for the beam. Then in property module we assign linear elastic property to the beam. We enter the properties of steel here and create a section and assign the section to the beam. After that we insert the beam as an instance in assembly module and then we create a static general step. We can turn on nonlinear geometry and also we can use a small and fixed incrementation to capture movement of the load. In load module at first we fix both ends of the beam. And after that we create a pressure type load on the top surface of the beam. We enter the magnitude of the load here. This magnitude will be passed to the deload subroutine as an initial value of the load. Then we choose user defined in distribution of load. And as we can see here, deload subroutine should be used in this type of setting. In mesh module, at first using mesh control, we choose structured quadrilateral elements. Then by assign element types, we choose standard plane stress and linear elements and finally we set the parts globally and mesh the part. After that we can create a job in job module and in general tab we introduce the location of the deload subroutine. Now we can submit the job. Before finishing the solution, I explain use the load subroutine. This is the deload subroutine. At first we have the subroutine interface and you can find this interface in the help of the software. After that, we define the characteristic of the crane including its initial position, its velocity, its length and the weight. We can enter the weight directly here or use the value that have entered previously in the GUI software. After that we calculate the position of the center of the crane at the current time and finally we can calculate the force at each point. At first we extract the x coordinates of the point. If the x coordinate is between these two limits the force will be calculated by this formula. Otherwise the force is zero. Now the solution has been completed and we can go to the Abacus environment and see the results. For better presentation of the effect of the deload, we plot a stress in second direction. We can see the movement and the width of the load and we can capture variation of the load during solution time. Thank you guys for watching this video. If this video has helped you out, please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. See you in next videos.